Alright, welcome to Abu Dhabi. It is my first time here. We just landed. If you watched my last video, I left you in Kyrgyzstan. Now we're here in Abu Dhabi. It's not my first time in the country. I've been to Dubai for a layover in the UAE, but this is my first time in Abu Dhabi. So let's make our way through. We don't have a hotel yet, so we have to book a hotel and I need some food. All right, so we need time to buy a hotel. So there's only Costa Coffee and Starbucks. Look, I don't like Starbucks, I'm not gonna lie. I do tend to avoid them as much as possible these days. I'm sure you know why. We're just gonna kind of sit here and use it while we can. Um, I also just wanna mention really quick that I had internet on my eSIM as soon as I landed. I bought Holofly and I have a link with them. Um, I'm gonna put it in the description bar below. It's an eSIM, so you know, it gives you access to internet as soon as you land off the plane and if you use my affiliate code it's down below you'll get 5% off your eSIM um, but it was cheaper than the local SIM so we got that I think it was like half the price or more than half the price I might go ask a local SIM and see how much they are and I'm gonna grab a coffee so we can all just sit here and figure out a hotel it's my first time in Abu Dhabi what's it look like like Dubai <laughs> All right, it has been some time, but we have, it's actually almost dark, it's been that long. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we just, I think, decided on a hotel. Michael's been looking for one. So I think now we just have to get from here to there, which is gonna be expensive, because we're in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, my glasses. It's so hot, it's far, I can't see where, I can't see. I can't see anything. Michael, yeah. I can't see anything. <laughs> My glasses just fogged up as soon as I went outside. I can't see where. I can't. No, what am I meant to do? I don't know. I can't see anything. It's so freaking hot. Oh my, what? It's wet. Everything's wet straight away. My camera's wet. It's so hot here. Can't see. Kinda. Whoa, it is so hot outside. Really humid and it's like 8 o'clock at night or something. This is insane. Alright, Michael's trying to find the Uber pickup spot. There's taxis back there, but we never really like going with taxis when we get somewhere in case they're like black mafia or something and charge double or whatever. It looks like, it looks just like Dubai. I think that's him there in the in the. Oh hello. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's heavy. Oh yeah. Made it. Jeez, how's that so hot? <laughs> oh, it's so hot. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> You got it? I can't see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Bye. 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 Uh, yeah. I can't. What are you doing? Can I get here? Don't. Yeah, what? Oh, it's a. Oh, okay. Just. I literally can't see anything. I guess I'm just gonna walk. Hello, Abu Dhabi. Oh. <laughs> got it? Five. Hello, Abu Dhabi. So I obviously haven't really seen it, but um, it's dark outside. Are you making fun of me? Yeah, in the mirror so I can see. <laughs> um, honestly, I just got mad at Michael because I was like, this looks so fancy. Why do you buy it? It's just too expensive. But no, he was saying they all look like it. It's like in Abu Dhabi, you are, you're either staying in, in like, this is like a three-star hotel. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks fit. I got mad because I was like, don't spend that much money on this because it costs like... 45 each no, a night, which means a, $90 a night. You should see a 5-star Australian, by the way. You should see a 5-star hotel here. They're like 7-star. I'm tired now, guys. Who's late for us? Yeah, it's only about 8 o'clock here, but we're about 2 hours okay. behind Kyrgyzstan time. Other way. You didn't check. Oh, I'm vlogging. LA. It's your job to direct. It's about 10 o'clock for us in our mind. In Kyrgyzstan it's 10, but here it's only 8. 
So I feel like going to sleep, which is probably a good thing. Means I've got to get up really early. Yeah, Michael does work calls in the morning, and like now that we've gone back two hours, he has to start two hours earlier. Let's see what this room looks like. Air conditioning. Tell when the aircon's already on. You can feel it. Yeah. This is so expensive. <laughs> I got no, it. It is. Something's really in my way. Yeah, this <laughs> really bad. Oh, nice. Yeah, it smells a bit wet, hey. I don't know how that works. Oh, I thought you got twin beds. No, we said this was the one that had a king. Oh, this is a king, okay. And then this place to work. Why is it so old looking? It's I thought it's only a three star. I thought Abu Dhabi was like new and when modern. I say only a three star, everyone, that's what we stay in. So just FYI, I'm not being like only a three star because we step was we stay in yeah, we stay in two hotels. to three star hotels. <laughs> unless we like get it gifted so we don't have to pay for it. There's That's no, what there's no fridge. Yeah, there's there no fridge? Here. Surely it's here. Yeah, you got a fridge. Michael can't live without a fridge. Well, I can. No, uh, no, you can't. I, I do. Obviously. You just complain every day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let me, hold on. Let me sit on the bed. It's not bad. It's Should not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I have to say, I have to say, you guys, if you are thinking of coming to Abu Dhabi, I'm going to leave the link for this hotel in the description bar. It'll be an affiliate link, so I get some commission if you want to book here through my oh, link. Nice. Can you see a good view? We can't see it now because it's dark, but that's the Cornish. So the what? The Cornish. What the hell is a Cornish? Every Gulf country has a Cornish. That's, I can't see. That's the ocean. Oh, the ocean? We're going to have an ocean view tomorrow. <gasps> really? Yeah. I can't see at all. It's not letting me go past the reflection. <laughs> Cornish, isn't that a pasty in Ireland or something? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, guys, um, I guess you'll get, I guess uh, you'll get my true first impression tomorrow when I can actually see outside. Um, yeah, but until then, we've got to go to sleep and wake up in the morning. Yeah. Oh, I want to ask you, you guys a question. When did you first start watching this channel? Did you watch me from the beginning? Or did you find me in Malaysia? Or maybe Thailand? Or did you come across from the main channel? Or did you come from the main channel? If you don't know, I have a large channel. It's down below. It's linked in the description bar. If you know me from there, let me know where you found me in the in the comments. Because I reckon... What? I'd love to know actually how many people came... Don't sit like that and... Oh, sorry. Look at him, I've demonetized. Um, I'd like to know... How many people only know that don't know you have a main channel? Yeah, true. If you if you didn't know Josie has a main channel, let us know. Yeah, some people like tell me something like you should go to India. I was like, well, if you watch my main channel, you would know I've been. I went for a long time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this up here. Get ready for bed. Tea, coffee, and I might order room service if there's pasta. If not, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> That's all I crave right now is pasta. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I know I just said goodbye, but I walked into the bathroom and I found that there's two toilets. <laughs> Why is there two toilets? Open Hold on, here's a bath, which is honestly quite crap, but that's all right. Is <laughs> it? It's already open. Yeah, you, that's like instead of a bum gun, it does it for you. What do you mean it does it for you? Yeah, the Japan toilets did it for you. I'd never use it. Why would you I did, use that? You did use it once. No. And oh. You, and you're like. Yeah, but it's weird. It just wets my butt. It doesn't like clean my butt. You're supposed to angle yourself. How? You have to what spread? Anyway, that's what that is for day. It's <laughs> weird, man. That is so strange. Right, it is the next morning. We've woken up. We've bad, headed. Though. Oh, that is much better than yesterday, to be honest with you. How is it hotter last night than right now? I forgot to put sunscreen on. Anyway, my first look at Abu Dhabi in the daytime. Pretty cool. When we go back to the room later, I'll show you that we have like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but we have a little view of the water. So we watched some people do like tubing this morning and stuff like that. That's my first look at Abu Dhabi. Very big buildings and stuff. Reminds me, reminds me just of Dubai, which makes sense because it's only like a hundred kilometers away from here. But I am super hungry. It's still morning, but I just really want to find something to eat. It is very warm out here. I don't understand how people survive here with this heat. 
and I'm from Australia. This is crazy. <laughs> we were just saying that it does look a little bit more like run down and, and like kind of more dirty than, than Dubai, but we're in Dubai for a layover. And we went to like the Burj Khalifa and like the biggest mall and then kind of went back so that we, we can't really compare it, honestly. We'll go to the nice park. Unless we go to the idea. nice park here, yeah. So that's, that's only fair, you know. But this is the mall that we're heading to right now to find some food. And in case you can't tell, I need food because I have no energy until I have it. So whew, let's find some food in here and get some air conditioning. I heard like this thing Michael told me that they'd, no one like goes to exercise here because it's so hot and I, I honestly don't blame them. I wouldn't walk out here they, if I... They have an obesity Oh, thank you. Here. They have an obesity problem here. Popeyes. A whole bunch of different... Well, what are we looking for again? In breakfast. Okay, McDonald's. <laughs> no, there's nothing else around. Okay. <laughs> so that must say McDonald's in Arabic. I forgot we are coming here, to be honest with you. This is not a bad breakfast option. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, chai. Hot chocolate. Cool. No beef, obviously, so chicken sausage. Yeah, it's all chicken. We're in a pharmacy because Michael wants some lotion and stuff. Yeah, actually true, it's very expensive. Maybe not. You know what I mean? Okay, so we... Michael was after some compression socks and something else and she didn't have that, but she was so sweet. Um, I wanted, I got some uh, skin cream, which is good for me. At home, it's like a hundred bucks and here it was like six dollars. So yeah, I've been very um, not great on my skincare this whole year, actually. I keep going, oh, I'll do it tomorrow and then I never do and I'm just so bad at it. Just walking through here and I think, where, where are we going? What are we doing? Crossing the road up here to get you a coffee. Oh yeah, we're going to a coffee shop because I don't, I, it's a sin to drink coffee from Macca's. Yeah. By the way, Macca's means McDonald's. We're Australian, we call it Macca's. It, guys, fun fact, even the signs in Australia say Macca's. Oh. I keep forgetting that you guys might not know that. This is the city. Pretty different to what I expected, actually. Your coffee shop was directly across the road, but because you have to walk all the way up to... Oh, up to, the yeah. Weather, the weather today is quite manageable. Yeah, it's not so bad. Last night it was hell. But this is Abu Dhabi, guys. I also think that I might have to do, I have a pending deal. This is like the channel where I talk to you guys like my friends. So I have a pending deal with a brand where I might have to do an activity here um, in order to make an ad for them. So I might be doing some fun things here in Abu Dhabi. I don't, I'm not sure yet, it's not signed or anything like that, but I'm doing the activities in order to film the video, no, film the ad for them, but I might just film it on here too for you guys, I don't know, so. Dubai. Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to say as well, like places like this, like I know that they definitely have like their place and things like that, but I just feel like it doesn't have as much soul as places like like Heart, like Thailand. And well, because they're new. They're, they're new. They're, they're so new. They're not that's true, that's true. This place kind of feels like some of the back streets in Malaysia. Yeah, true. I don't know. I, I don't know how line. to describe it. This wasn't really what I thought it would be like. But again, we're in like a, a different area. Oh, coffee shop. Yes. The Alchemist. Yum. What'd I go? In here. Okay. That's it. I'll let you do your thing. Am I getting a takeaway and we're leaving? Yeah. Oh, okay. You back to the room? Yeah, I haven't really shown them anything though. Oh. Oh. Huh? It's here. Says exit. Go pull the door and go in there anyway. I can't, really. No, Can I? Go pull that door and go in there anyway. Oh. Hi, cat. There's a cat there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go in here. I thought I pressed record for that and I actually did the opposite and I, I pressed stop recording so that's annoying but that's okay. That is officially the most expensive coffee I've ever bought in my life. Eleven dollars. Okay, we'll go somewhere else then. Eleven dollars Australian. Is it on this is on the menu or? Huh? Is that price on the menu? 28 dirhams. It's actually cheaper on this than the menu. What's the menu say? 23 plus 5. 28 yeah. and this is 27 yeah. so it cost me a lot. <laughs> well, do you want any from the supermarket or do you want to come with me to the supermarket and show yeah. these guys the supermarket? I'll show them the supermarket. The advice, uh, the supermarket. Yes. All right we're gonna go into the supermarket with my $11 coffee. Oh you good? So many cigarettes. 
if there's any Maltesers, I'm going to grab them because they are the most calorie friendly dessert. And I've been unfortunately having a lot of uncalorie friendly desserts. And we're here for a week. Is this resealable? Um, when I used to go to the gym, I used to have like a handful of these every night or in my dessert. And they are one of the most calorie friendly. We've got heaps of stuff, Biscoff. <gasps> Tiny Biscoff. My favorite dessert, I think, is Biscoff. So, where's Michael? Of course, he's getting co Coke. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how many you have. I thought it was two each. Okay. Just for the fridge. This is basically our life, by the way coffee, Maltesers, Coke Zero, Coke Zero, and Monsters. <laughs> we just run on a series, and then Melatonin. Melatonin. We run on a series of ups and downers. Without hard drugs, I might add. I want. Oh, what do I want? Hmm. Okay. How do you do it here? Yeah. Oh, over there. You take it over there when you don't want it. Okay. All right. There's potentially already box fruit in the fridge. Over oh, there. I want box fruit. I'd prefer to pay for that than not. You know. Double one nine one. Oh, it's just it's not really anything I can eat. Okay. There's grapes. I missed this, but he gave me a basket. I can't find any fruits that I want to eat. It's like not already cut up, you know? I want watermelon. I missed it on camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you guys. So, you since we were in... No, 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 no. It needs to be scented. I don't like that scent. All of them that say dirt all of wine for you. I just get it Orange. What's this one? Like some kind of flower. I want to tell you guys about this in a second once I decide on my flavor. I... Ew, flower. When we we're in Lhasa, by the way, in Tibet, um, I started noticing that I have a really brown patch in my underarms, which I've never ever had before, and I'm like old. <laughs> so it was freaking me out. Michael now has the same thing. So we're thinking that maybe it might be like a mix of like bacteria going to all these different countries and sweating and not sweating and, and all this stuff. So if you know what that could be, I've got like discoloration under both my underarms. And now Michael does too. So if you have any, no? All right, I'll just, okay. Um, so if you have any suggestions of what that could be, I know you guys aren't doctors, unless someone is, that'd be very helpful. Um, <laughs> I showed it to a doctor and she told me it might be PCOS as well, but now Michael has it. So unless Michael's a woman and has a menstrual cycle, <laughs> it's probably not that. Oh, you could get a small one here, I think. This is cool, they have everything. They have Nivea, that's that? almost $40. <laughs> wow, I feel like we're back at home. Yeah, right. In Australia, yeah, right. one tiny little shot costing 40 bucks. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, hot. <laughs> my ice has melted and I've been, you know, hasn't been that long. So our hotel's here, but we have to go all around this way. Right? Ice left in this whatsoever, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I'll just go back and be like, can you put more ice in? Yeah. This is cool. I see lots of gyms. There's another gym over there. That's cool. That's a good good thing, especially when it's so hot. People aren't going to exercise outside. I feel like you have to have more gyms. I feel like it's like, in a, like a human requirement to have somewhere cool that you can exercise in. So it's to, so hard for me to justify like a $50 visit or something like that, like so to a gym to like, or I don't know. Like Southeast Asia and the stands where we just were, where you can like walk on the road and stuff. Yeah, but you just walk. Yeah. All right. Hello. It has been a few days, actually. Um, I've just been here. I think I tanned since the last time you saw me. I don't know. Anyway, I put on fake tan. Um, I'm just gonna show you, I went to the shops the other day cause things are so expensive here. Things are like 20 to $40 a meal, Amer Australian. So I don't know, 15 to 35 American, who knows, um, a meal. So I went to the shop to get something, a few little things that might make it a little bit more affordable. There's no light. Oh yeah, there's one. Um, so I just got some, like oat clusters. Um, Michael got some Pali G's. I got some bananas and I did get, I thought I got yogurt. Oh, it'd be in here, I guess. I got some grapes, some fruit and some yogurt just so I can make sort of something that's a little bit, you know, cost effective, I guess for breakfast. So I'm going to have this, but this isn't really the yogurt that I like. So I'm going to go find um, some more yogurt at another store today. Um, I think you guys will come with me. I'll show you a mall here in Abu Dhabi. 
Um, but yeah, we've basically just been honest. Can I be honest? I've done, I've done the the least amount of work that I can get away with <laughs> for the past couple of days. Um, I still have to like review videos and upload things and like post and get and all that stuff. But I've really been like trying to have a little bit of a rest. I actually, if I can digress, sidetrack for a second. I actually saw one of my friends from home. Her name's Sherelle. Um, I followed her and we've been following each other for years back when I used to do fitness. She's um, fitness in Australia. Anyway, she put up on a story the other day. She said that she spoke to someone in her business mentor or something that said um, something along the lines of like when you when you have your own business, you don't often you don't get a break. So like when the opportunity comes, you take it. And I feel like that's what we've done over the past couple of days here. Although admittedly, we probably shouldn't have because we've got a lot to plan for our next trip and we haven't started. So we're probably gonna have to stay here a little bit longer. Um, look, the views in me say I'm not mad about that because that's absolutely beautiful to wake up to. Oh, there's a mosque down there. The uh, budget traveler saver in me is mad about it because I think this costs like 90 bucks a night, which is uh, insane. Um, but yeah, also, by the way, can you guys see this? I don't think you can, but I'll try. There's a car right here in that car spot. It's been parked there the whole time we're here and it's a black little Suzuki Jimny. And I am obsessed with Jimny's right now. I'm obsessed. Um, I want to go home just so I can buy a Jimny. Like I'm obsessed. And this one's all black. It looks really cool. Anyway, so let's make some breakfast. We have a lot to plan while we're here. We have our whole next trip. And where we're going next, here's a little hint for you guys. Where we're going next, we can't take our luggage. So that's why like we've got our luggage everywhere. We're trying to find what we need to take with us and what will stay here in the luggage bags while we go and travel. We've got, I think, three countries that we're going to that we can't take our bags in. Um, so we'll have to come back here and pick up our luggage afterwards. So there's a lot to plan. And obviously, if we're not taking our big bags, we have to make sure that we have, like, all of the right stuff with us. Like, we're not taking something that we don't need or we are bringing, we are making, maybe I should, do I shake? I don't know. That's like full blueberry. Anyway, my my healthy food, honestly, has been so much better. Should I put this in here? Yeah, stuff it. Um, since being here, because there's honestly a lot of healthy food options in Abu Dhabi. They just cost a lot. So we've been getting this like healthy bowl where you can just choose like chicken and vegetables or chicken and brown rice or um, beef meatballs, 100 grams and stuff like that. And we've been getting that, but it's been costing a pretty penny. Um, if you have any tips for, you know, making the UAE a little bit more money <laughs> savvy, please leave them in the comments. Um, we have to come back here, like I said, after we travel. So I have beef with Netflix, okay? So Michael has an account. Anyway, so what's happening? M uh, Michael. <laughs> Michael's locked us out. Netflix has not locked us out of accessing Netflix because we use, because we travel, right? So it's like, oh, you know, this isn't where you normally are. We're going to lock you out. And it's like, well, I pay for you. Well, yeah, <laughs> one of us pays for you. Anyway, and it's done it to both of us. So Michael can't access his account. So he had to, he was forced basically to buy a different plan. And the cheapest one is one with ads. And you can't even view things in like 4K. You can't even watch anything in 4K. And then when we went to watch stuff in this new plan that Netflix made us buy or him buy, it came up and said, um, this isn't available in your region or something. So we still can't even watch it. Oh my gosh, I hate Netflix right now. Anyway, we're still trying to figure that out because Netflix is how I watch things on the plane and stuff like that. So, oh, sorry guys hit you there and it's really annoying um and then also on the ad version that you that we now have to have um it doesn't let you watch some sh shows because there's like obviously licensing agreements where you can't have ads on them or whatever and the show that i was watching queen of the south by the way if you've watched it tell me in the comments um i want to talk about it well, maybe we should not spoil it for anyone else you should watch it by the way that show that i'm currently watching you can't, I can't watch it on this new version of Thing because there's ads. 
It's a little bit of a work day today. I'm going to be honest with you. I have contracts to read through, which is a good thing because I might have a couple new sponsors for the channel, the main channel. If you don't know, I have a main channel. It's linked down below. It's larger. Um, and I'm getting some sponsors on there. I'm trying to leave this channel as sponsor free as possible, but honestly, like, um, financially, I'm just going to have to take some at some point because <laughs> yeah, I am sure you understand why. Um, but as of right now, I might have two new ones on the main channel, which is awesome. So I have to read through a couple of contracts today. I'm just cutting up this banana if you want to see. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. I might have to film an ad here in Abu Dhabi. Um, so we'll, we'll have to stay here until I do that. I also have to buy some specific dress while I'm here and I have to go find that. I think it's near the mosque. Sorry, I just realized I just started eating like I normally do when I have leftover banana, I just eat it. Do you want the rest of my banana has too many carbs? No, okay. Let me wash my hands. Yeah, it's um it's good to chat with you guys actually. I haven't really chatted with you for a while. I feel like we we kind of went through uh Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan kind of all over the place. And I was I was planning to film kind of quite a few videos there, but then as you guys saw, um I only really did one. This is what I just made. You guys made it with me. There's blueberry yogurt down the bottom, some granola, and then some banana. It's in a very small bowl though, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm about to settle in here to, um, like I said, read through those contracts. We have to organize the next trip and yeah, but it's been cool being in Abu Dhabi besides the price. Honestly though, we are saying this, like, it's been nice to be in a mall that has like all the stuff that I like, like, um, you know, they have like more Western sizes and Western things. And it's just more familiar to me than some of the places we've seen in like Central Asia. And stuff. I thought you farted. <laughs> I haven't bought new pants. Oh yeah. Michael bought new pants. Shorts. That's right. You got new shorts. Okay. <laughs> they look really good in your Birkies. Yeah, that, that, that fits well, doesn't it? Yeah. And anywhere else we go, I just can't find sizes that fit for me. That's what I mean. It's been good to be here for that. They look really nice. But in one of the most obese countries in the world, the UAE, there's pants for everyone. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's been nice to come here and, and have a few of those things. But I'm going to do some of this work and then I think we will go to the mall with you. I'll show you the mall. I think we're going for like a total of 10 days and we're going to three countries and I'm filming three videos from my main channel. So I'll try as much as I can. Let's go to the mall. Today, is that too niche or does everyone know that show? People will know it. Tell me if you know where that, that's from. And the camera fogs up in three, two, is this us? Yeah. Oh. Okay, hello. We're going to the Galleria? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. It's so hot out here, just wait till we get inside. Oh, so hot in this country. Mark was fighting a lot of people on my YouTube video. Well, like, if I ever get cancelled one day, it's because he has access to my account. If we ever go to China and then we get, <laughs> we, we don't leave China, you'll know why. It's because Michael's fighting with, how do we get in? Oh. There's some very stupid comments. I just, for reference, um, this is, I'm quite far ahead at this point on this one um, because I wanted to wait for my first China videos to come out on my first channel. Anyway, um, my China video just came out, sorry, my video in Tibet just came out on my first channel and there are some really stupid comments yeah, on it. You need a permit and a guide if you're a foreigner to go to Tibet, right? The reason for that is not because of altitude. The reason is because it's a, it's a sensitive region for China and that's totally fine. You can do whatever you want in your own country with your own rules. We have people in the comments trying to say it's about altitude. The people who aren't foreigners also suffer from altitude, altitude sickness. And, and they don't need the a guide. There's also... And that's what we're trying to say. We're just trying to say it's clearly not about health. And they're saying things like, well, the locals <laughs> don't speak Chinese, so they can't help you. I don't speak Chinese. Yeah. You do. So uh, Yeah. So anyway, you get the point. So We're just trying to say that anywhere you are in the world, defending your country in that way, makes you look silly like <laughs> just be logical the logical reason why is because there's the restrictive things there which is fine but That's just fine. just admit it like it's weird don't that you don't cover it up and it's, it's very strange behavior and, the, and also all the usual comments you get on chinese videos that are like yeah but this might be horrific but the u.s is horrific too we're not from the u.s we don't give a shit I don't okay. Care. okay anyway <laughs> you get it so um <laughs> sorry we look we'll never be Neither of us, even though I'm the one worked up for the jersey right now, <laughs> neither of us will be the type of people that will let, like, 
we're, we're going to be realistic. If we think something, we're going to say it. Let's, exactly. Which not a lot of people don't like us for, which is totally fine. I, yeah. I don't, also don't give a shit. But let me show you this <laughs> this mall. Um, you have a lot of Western brands here, actually. You had like Victoria's Secret and like um, Zara Home. Apple first. Yeah, let's go to Apple. I want a new Apple Watch band this one yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't want a new watch well, you want a new watch but i only want a new watch because i don't like the gold anymore but i'm 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 too poor to buy a new one just for a new color <laughs> you got makeup forever oh they have a makeup forever whole store that's cool charlotte tilbury whole store maybe i'll get some skin no i don't wear enough makeup to do that he just does this for a while and right. stop it stop replying we're out at the at the mall put the phone down yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, I'm reading things. <laughs> we're I'm, I'm, do I sound not chill to you? You sound a little bit unchill. Okay, well, I don't, but anyway. All right, we're gonna go to um, Apple. Which is over which there. Which is down in this side, over yeah. The road, but you can we have to go under. under. So you, no, you don't have to. We, we will be going under because I want to stay in the air conditioning. Yeah, that's why it's built. All right, let's go under here. Us? Yes, I do want a coffee Percent. first. Oh my goodness, you owe me a coffee. Do I? No, you just didn't get it for me today. See, he used to do this thing when we first started dating where he would go out and get me a coffee every day. Now he doesn't. There's lots of things the spark, people used to do when we first started dating. The spark is anymore. dead. <laughs> the spark is dead. Romance is not alive. Anyway, we're going to go to Percent Arabica up there and grab a coffee. It is nice being in um, a really nice mall. Um, there are malls, obviously, wherever you go. Oh, over here. You want Arabica? Yes. Starbucks is gross. It has a really good um, mall culture. Anyway, that is really hot. I <sighs> love that smell of coffee in the late afternoon. Let's see if there's a flat white. Hello. Do you have a flat white? Yes. Oh, you do? Okay. Can I get one of them with no sugar, please? Oh, okay. Regular milk? Regular milk. Thank you. <laughs> you have this card? Oh, no, I won't come back. I'm not here for long. That's all right. Thank you, though. <laughs> Up here? Thank you. By the way, this was $9.43 Australian. Very expensive. But good coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Guess how much this one was? Uh, $10. Nine forty-three. Hey, that's a bargain here. <laughs> Literally, I'm so I'm so confused. I just simply wouldn't drink coffee if I lived here. It costs too much. I don't know. You'd have, but to, you'd have to figure out how to make coffee at home. I don't get it. I don't understand how it's financially possible. Is this to find where we are? Um. Okay. <laughs> Michael found it apparently. There was a feature on there that said find my car. And yeah. I assume they just scan your number plate so you know where you are. You type your number plate in and it brings up all the cars that could be could be your number plate Whoa, and then you tap which sick. one's yours. Wow, this place is fan oh. oh god. I don't really want my watch to fall off. Um, I want to start walking a bit more. Not running because my back hurts too much for that. But I don't, don't want my watch to be falling off. Obviously, it's expensive. Um, so I'm going to buy the proper watch band because this one's literally about to it's not great anymore it doesn't hold where it's meant to sit this is bougie <laughs> thank you um i'm just gonna pick an apple watch band i'm not sure which one yet i'm just okay, having no a look just thank you is that weird that it's i don't think it's that weird that it's pink that's the best <laughs> one okay. okay not this one no oh this is so it's such a cute color i wish i had what would go with this color they don't have a green apple watch this is cute. Oh, black. That's why it's... This is not sponsored by Apple, but hey, if you want to sponsor me, that'd That'll be great. That'll never happen. <laughs> oh, have some faith in me. No, they just don't sponsor people, do they? Yeah, they don't need to. Maybe yeah. Marquez Brownlee, whatever his name is. I don't think they sponsor him either. Is that his name? Yeah. Marquez? I think he pays for it I too. love these. These There's are so cool. Okay, he didn't want me to vlog, which was totally fine. No problem. Just turned the camera off. So I ended up going with this one, the one that we liked. Um, it honestly looks super sleek. I obviously, like I said, am not sponsored by Apple, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. Like, I was wondering with this one being Velcro that it was going to fall off, but it... It literally doesn't feel... <laughs> feel like that at all and it's just kind of it's still staying in the same place the only thing is that the little notches here are white and my um 
watch is pink so it looks a little bit weird but like honestly I think it's still cute um, it's really comfortable and it looks a lot nicer than my old one it's comfy so I feel like if I'm gonna walk anywhere um, I think it's going to be really nice on my wrist it doesn't feel scratchy or I haven't bought one from home the only one I got was when I bought the, bought the watch like years ago would be this this is the part that's under the road so it's um up and to the other side and you get to stay in the uh, air conditioning one thing I really do like about here is that they have some good options for healthy food even though it's obviously very expensive we have poke and co which is like poke balls and I got just the chicken one because it was a little bit confusing on working out how to do it um, yourself like building your own bowl there's like chicken I've got some brown rice at the bottom because I know I'm gonna be hungry later on and I'm also not gonna use I'm gonna use my carbs now because I have um, I'm gonna have dinner with I have no carb option in case you don't know I used to be very fit so I'm very aware of like I can pretty much eyeball calories and how many fats and carbs and protein and stuff like that anyway so we've got um avocado which is a little bit too much for me with my fats but that's okay um beetroot chicken carrots shallots corn and i don't know what else i think that's about that's about it and it was 55 durham which cost me australian 22 dollars 50. oh that's expensive <laughs> That's okay. All right, so I'm going to eat this, I think. And then we're just going to have a quick think about if we need to buy anything in the mall while we're here, anything else um, besides my band. This, I just realized, is going to get dirty really quickly. That's okay. I'll just have to clean it. Um, because, like I said, we're going on three country trip without our bags, and I'm going to need a little bit more, I think, covering than this. So um, I know that there's a mosque around here we haven't been to yet. Um, and I'm going to buy perhaps a long sleeve and something to put over my head at the mosque here. What? 50 mil. You take that in your carry on. Because it's 100, right? Yeah. We need some sunscreen. Like I said, our next couple of trips are. I think it. Oh. Maybe my sunscreen's at 50 mil. Well, let's leave it because this was definitely at the other one. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, so we've been discussing whether it's worth me getting. I'm just filming you like this because I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here and I don't want to grab his attention. There's someone behind me. But we've been debating whether I get an AeroPress um, while we travel so I can get coffee anywhere. And for that, I would need like coffee beans. And I was like, but then I have to carry coffee beans. But like, this is just such a cute little. Like, this is kind of okay and it's already grounded. We'll be able to find Could just do this and travel with this. One. How many mil? How many? How heavy is this? Does it say? Suitable for a Aeropress. Six Aeropress. Maybe I do get it. I don't know. You won't be able to make hot coffee ones or iced ones though. You'd have to just yeah. put a dollop of milk in. You could fit that into your bag. Is it reseal? Those things yeah. reseal? Yeah. You could. Yeah. This is Waitrose, by the way. It's a very like upscale thing in UAE. Yeah, Looking for oil. some yogurt. Now I need to find... Being healthy is so hard. <laughs> okay, I found a winner. This one has zero, less than 0 0.5 grams of fat, 3.5 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein per 100 grams. By the way, if you are triggered... Yeah, we're going to do this one. It's Yeo Valley Greek Recipe, 0% fat, natural strained. These are so cool, by the way. Egg and avocado pot. Little thing Actually, pot. That's about four dollars Australian. Only go home Big salad. Point. All right, hold on. Just found these mixed berries. Yum. Wait, how much is it? Doesn't say. Does it say? Nope. That's a problem. Oh, on the back here. Yeah. Eleven dirhams for this one. That's four dollars. I'm gonna get some of these strawberries and stuff for four dollars. Thirty-two dirhams for these uh. berries. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Melon, okay. and, melon and grape for 15. <laughs> not, the, not, not the We have grapes. And my glasses are foggy from the heat and I'm sure the camera is. Six, five, we're just getting a um, Uber back to our hotel. I got some underwear from Vic Victoria's Secret because my came out once from home and not doing well. Is that one of us? All right, see you back at the hotel. This is Abu Dhabi. Hello. Hello. My 
Michael show, wants me to show you our pantry. These shelves finally have a meaning in a hotel. Our, no, that goes oh, in the... I, I thought that was one of my... That's yogurt. Yeah. We've got... Yogurt, for those of you from Britain. We've got Chris, uh, granola, <laughs> oat sachets, more oat sachets, Cokes. Bananas up here. Bananas. <laughs> it's a literal... We live here. <laughs> we all live here for over a week, so... Yeah, it does suck, um, though. Like, you can't do this everywhere you go, so... Being healthy, if you followed me for a while while we travel, is just so hard. And what we can't even, well, I've I made him leave this one here, but there's no bowls for us to make this stuff in in hotels. You can well, ask, but like, yes, it's expensive for us to come here, but like it's really hard to stay on top of your health in some countries. And I found South Central Asia was like, it's I mean, hard, even when you it? Google it, it's not the best place to eat well. Yeah, it's, it wasn't. But here, there's heaps of healthy options. Options that just cost a lot. So I need to get into looking at my contracts now. So I'm gonna have to do that, and then I don't know. Should I? Take, am, are we taking them to the mosque, or are we doing that to get the video. on the thing? Another video? Maybe I'll take you to the mosque in the next one. I think that might be it for my first impressions of Abu Dhabi oh, because it's not really my first impressions of Abu Dhabi anymore. So I'll see you in the next one, and I think we might take you to the mosque. I'm not sure what I can film there and what I can't, but. That's the plan anyway. So if not, I'll see you in the next one regardless. Bye.